right, so I just tried to record my le an episode for my Let's Play. And then I was like, yeah, I'm finished, blah, 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 I forgot to record. And then I was like, fuck, little children are probably watching my videos. But anyway, yeah, ah, new tutorial here. And I'm trying again. And basically the tutorial, like I said in the beginning of the video I was going to make, but I forgot to record, that, um... Instead of doing supports, I'm not going to do them, I'm going to do paths and terraforming. And not the stuff that you were m maybe looking forward to, which might make you mad and destroy the earth or something. No. But anyway, um, uh, the reason why I do that is um, you just don't want to jump into supports right away if, you're wanna, if you want to build a nice coaster, of course. Um, I usually just built my coasters, not planning anything or anything like that. But I just randomly built, and um, when I had my coaster layout done, I just randomly built some supports, like, yeah, let's support this thing. But that's not really the smartest way to do that. And um, you, in your head, you might want to plan everything you do. Like in the last video, I didn't plan anything. It was uh, me mumbling all the time, and it wasn't all that much of a great video, but I lost it, so it's no use to rant about it again. But anyway, what I wanted to say was that you gotta plan stuff. And especially when it comes to paths and terraforming, when, you, when you're using in-game paths like I do, because I kind of like the textures of them, um, you, you really want to plan ahead a bit. Not too much, you don't really need to do that. But just a bit, to be sure. But anyway, what I want to do here is have some paths. Well, that's what I did in the last video. Okay, I, I stopped about it. Um, have some paths around here, around the coaster, just quite some long and wide paths, not really realistic or anything, maybe not even going towards a flat ride or anything, but just for some camera positions, which is something I'll explain later because I've explained it like twice in the last video I tried to record, but, but never mind. And um, here I have a huge C. People are always like, are, are sometimes people are like, yeah, you always have those C's in your videos. Why? Um, well, one, I'm a lazy fat ass, I don't want to have to place down trees all around the map, which takes me hours of time in which I could just do other stuff, and, um, the second reason is just that you have a nice, um, space for, y for your camera, when you're making the flying camera thing, and, um, you want to at least have some space, um, to place your camera, and have some nice, well, movies to put in your RCT3 thing for you too, because people like to do that. And, um, yeah, that's that's what I wanted to explain now, what I said I would explain later, like a minute ago. Um, when you're building a coaster, you always have to um, keep in mind where you want to place the camera and where the coaster looks good. Um, and you always got to keep in mind that you're going to make a video about it if you do that because otherwise you're just a regular RCT3 player with whom nothing is wrong and um, yeah basically um, you got you always gotta try to remember that you're f going to film it so you wanna make it film friendly as cheesy as that sounds and um, that includes some white paths ev sometimes even if they don't realistic um, Murph the engineer kind of uses that um, which does make his off-right shots of the coasters look phenomenal. And, um, yeah, seas like I mentioned before, and maybe even some open areas in the forests. And if you're adding a uh, dense forest, uh, or um, very high trees or stuff like that, you won't really have much space to place the camera to have some nice shots of your coaster. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. But anyway, here you see me just randomly building some paths, what I think would look nice. And um, you see, I use the in-game paths. I don't always do that. That, uh, that I didn't intend that to be a meme. And <laughs> I don't always do paths. But when I do, I use the in-game ones. Blech. Um, but um, what I usually do is just add some CS borders around it. And it'll look nice since the in-game path texture is sometimes quite nice. Mm, but anyway, mm, I just got that off there. We can always move into the details later because that's the most important thing is right now is just 
randomly planning what you're gonna do just a rough sketch basically yeah you could see this as a sketch of your poster and um, we're gonna do the sea first so we know where that is so we don't have to place mountains over there so blah, blah, blah. Very easy to create a C, all you really do is this, and then move it up to 9 so the whole process is faster. And you do like this. And you get yourself a C in no man and oh fuck, I, I feel like a tell cell guy. And um, oh beautiful C, oh beautiful, Be beautiful. I've never seen such a beautiful C in my life, no. I I'm sarcastic, of course I am. Um, we want to smooth that a lot since we don't want all those spiky hills in our sea even though there's water on it um, you still it sometimes you still kind of see it and you also want to smooth up the, the beach or the rocky coastline or whatever kind of coastline you want to have um, because well with, with the in-game crater option that RCT3 has you're gonna leave some real um, edgy edges and you want to smooth that so it's kind of like the top of a hill you see um, what I mean it's kind of flat and then suddenly it goes down so what you want to have is just this large area where it goes from flat to going down like that um, yeah wait what did I just see that's not very smooth so now that we got a nice beach just it still kind of looks like a flat and then see and it's not it's not the Netherlands in here so we're gonna have some hills and sometimes some people just add hills underneath the coaster I'm gonna do that as well just to show you what you're gonna have to do with when it comes this is annoying let's turn it down <laughs> and <laughs> wow but I'm um, just to show you what you're gonna have to do if you well add terraforming underneath your coaster because you're really gonna use this option right here it says um, some really weird Dutch stuff right there forgot to set my language to English of course I forget every single thing when I do something but anyway you're gonna have to use that a lot since terraforming in RCT3 isn't really the most user friendly thing but anyway that's some terraforming underneath the coaster and when you've done that, you're going to want to smooth it out a lot. Make sure everything's all flat and stuff, otherwise the ground textures are going to look weird. Okay, that's okay. And this kind of needs some smoothing. And do I see any terraforming underneath the coaster? Not really. So we're going to add that as well. And now it's time for some big hills, and the reason why I place these big hills is one. As soon as you have one hill in your area, you're gonna want more of the more hills. Because that's not really a single place on earth where you just have one hill. And then, then the rest of the landscape is just flat. Unless you live down under, but that's a whole different thing, and that's down under. And, um, yeah. What's important when you're building these hills is to keep them random it's hard to explain but you don't want to have one huge wall of a hill just surrounding your coaster because that will look very awkward and unrealistic you're gonna have um, a few hills which together form that wall and together block the sides of the endless grassy fields right there because those fields it, it kind of annoys me sometimes when you have a really realistic coaster and then empty grass fields in the background. It's kind of it's kind of a bus kill right there. Oops, what I did. Well, whatever. It still looks good. And some more hills. You don't really need to smooth this a lot, just a little bit, because you also don't want to have those unnatural. Um, extremely smooth hills that sometimes appear that's not all that realistic either though um, you shouldn't take that <laughs> much advice when it comes to terraforming for me because I'm certainly not the best at terraforming 
if you really want to have some really good terraforming skills, you're going to look at Met 9537 to the root of 785 or something like that. At least the guy who made who makes this terraforming application with no the park manager the park manager and he is great at terraforming so I, I'd really recommend his channel and his coasters and stuff like that blah, blah, blah. I'm not getting paid for this and um, that's basically it when it comes to terraforming and everything it's just a modest generic terraforming thing and um, it might look somewhat weird but we're gonna add trees over here later on and um, now I think we have time for that but let me look so Toothpick called me and now he's in a call in Skype and now he's here to ruin my tutorial right Toothpick yep <laughs> you make it sound like I'm evil no what <coughs> Okay, so the idea here is that I, I'm trying to make this sea, so I want to place a, sh a lot of sand right here. I, I almost said shit load, that would have been horrible in my video. Now I said it anyway. Um, yeah, fuck. Ah! Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is not funny. Okay, I'm trying to do a beach here, so what you do on a beach, you place down sand, okay? Sand. Beautiful. Oh wait, yeah. that's one important thing I forgot. Just no shit. Water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. We need to stop swearing. Sorry. Okay, so I'll just continue normally. Uh, so we got a nice beach in here. It's beautiful. It's be it's more beautiful than anything Toothpick has ever made. Oh, you're nice. <laughs> um. Not, not what I usually do is just, um, you know, around my beach, you know how most of the people just randomly place that very light sand r uh, along their beach? And be like, yeah, this is okay. I usually just throw down some darker spots as well, at random. And um, some different kind of sand textures so it won't look as repetitive and boring and all the same. Because that's not really something we want, right? No. You hate boringness and all the sameness. Now why are all your coasters all boring and all the same? Who are you talking to now? Are you talking to yourself again? <laughs> ah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay, uh, no, no. Okay. Oh. And um, uh, well now, last this, uh, the this stuff underneath the coaster. I'm um, underneath the coaster. I always terraform and stuff. But, Toothpick, what do you think? What's better underneath the coaster, soil or sand? Hmm, it depends what kind of thing you're going for. I think it depends, though. If, you, if you're trying to build a tropical coaster, I think sand's better. But if it's kind of generic, like mine is, even though it does have a beach, I think that it's not better. You should just use soil. It's more realistic to more use soil. What yeah. did I just... I just tried to add some rocks to my beach. That's not working. Okay, so we'll go for soil. And um, now I'm gonna teach a very, very pro technique that you... Do you know that one? Yeah. Where you have that um, that blocky grass and um, you place it down underneath the coaster wherever you want to terraform. And blocky then... Grass. Then I'll oh, right, explain, yeah, yeah, yeah. It. I'll explain it globally, but um, you want to add, what's, is this soil? It's not really soil. And then you want to add soil, like on every second, every every second little grid thing. And in between them, you want to add some different textures. So it, and that somehow Texture. gives a very nice effect. I think that black's actually pretty, yeah. Black's actually pretty good. Because a lot of soil is actually black. Black. Yeah, it's black. <laughs> okay, I'll stop that. <laughs> <coughs> um, okay. And, uh, this is kind of a boring thing to do. Have you ever done it, Toothpick? do that grid technique everywhere you wanna have some terraforming going on I did it with Matt 957 
It's it's kind of an annoying thing to do actually. Yeah, it does take a long time. Pretty good at mountains. It's best at mountains. Um, let's try a different texture there. It's it's somehow it's also just trial and error. Try on error is something I really hate. But that's th that's the textures underneath the coaster. I'm gonna continue with this. Even though from this point on it won't be much of a tutorial anymore and it won't make much sense anymore. I'll just do it. So toothpick, how was your day? God you did it. How's the weather outside? <laughs> Um, fairly grey actually, it's not nice. Very grey? Is, is it cold? 20,000 hardcore members! Dude! Yes. Typically, is it very cold? Um, it's not, no actually, it's about 17 degrees, it's quite nice. <laughs> it's 23 <laughs> degrees here, <laughs> and it's I very sunny. I, I, want it, I want it to be cold again. I went, on, I went from my bike, I went on my bike from uh, school to home, and I didn't even have to wear a coat. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like that was an achievement. <sighs> That's a very big achievement. Child. I should get a Nobel Prize for it, right? I don't know. Yes, yes you should, definitely. <laughs> the Nobel Prize. No oh, I can't even speak properly now. Ugh. Yeah, the Nobel Prize for bicycle racing. The last one who ever got that was M Freddie Mercury. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Nope. <laughs> oh, this is some beautiful soil. Beautiful soil. <laughs> it's exquisite, I must say. Uh, you, okay. Yeah, I think that m uh, most of the people who are watching this tutorial probably just quit around this point. They yes, they probably quit when they heard your voice. Ah, oh, that's like two seconds in then. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to be a little more serious from this point on. Okay, me too. Yeah, uh, uh, this, is, this is important. Okay, so mm, the the big problem of this though is that this is not really a tutorial thing. There's not really anything to explain in here. It's just the boring grid method all over the place. It's just boring. Maybe we can talk about some other informative stuff. Some some tips and tricks. Do you have any tips and tricks? You may. What? Well, never mind. Uh, only uh, when it comes to theming. <laughs> oh, sports. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me, must I die? Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know that mic spam, which got me inside. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Mic spam in my tutorial. <laughs> no, sorry. I'll kick the heck out of you. <laughs> sorry. Um, you don't need to be sorry for something you haven't done yet. Okay. Um. Well, for the for the mo for the most parts of my tutorial, where I was just boring, I was talking gibberish. Guess that's not much of a difference there, but now I'm not alone, and the gibberish is getting worse. I am here with you. Oh, oh no, no, please. Oh, okay. oh my <laughs> frame rate just dropped to three frames. Excellent. Just when All I right. want it. 
Okay. This is going to take half an hour. I'll just split this into two episodes. No, I, I won't do that. Let's look at the time. Oh, oh yes, great. It's been more than half an hour since I started. I gotta finish <laughs> this up really quick. What? You know what? Um, I'll do the rest of the of the terraforming later on because this is not really going to get me anywhere. So yeah, that was the tutorial. That was the best tutorial ever. And next tutorial, you'll see me, um, well, having the terraforming my finished butt. and stuff like that. And I will move on yeah. to the ports finally. Okay. Bye.